All right, well, thanks very much. Um, just before we our closing remarks, we come to our perioperative echo group award. And this is an award that we started in 2016 and actually acknowledges um, members who have made substantial contributions to perioperative echo in Toronto at our hospital uh, and to this meeting specifically. Um, and if you just click on, you'll see the next, uh, you'll see the award winners in the past, um, many of whom uh, worked at Toronto General one last year. He was a, a substantial co contributor to uh, ECHO at St. Mike's. Next slide, please. So this year's award winner is Dr. Azad Mashari. Uh, all of you know him. Um, he uh, was the moderator of the first session at this meeting. Uh, I'm going to say a couple of words about Azad. Um, Azad is truly a valued colleague of mine at TGH. He's the one of the really good guys here who you can go to and say, Azad, I have a problem, and he'll help you fix it. Um, he's always been a forward thinker. He graduated from the University of Toronto in 2002, like 2002, with a BSc with honors in cognitive science and artificial intelligence. And here we're just starting to learn about artificial intelligence. Uh, he finished medical school at the University of Western Ontario and anesthesia residency at the University of Toronto. He completed fellowships in research at Beth Israel Deaconess in Boston and a clinical anesthesia fellowship here at Toronto General. Uh, he became uh, a staff member at TGH in 2015. He's a member of the perioperative echo group as well as the hyperbaric group here. Um, he worked and uh, then became the director in 2019 of the Advanced Perioperative um, Imaging Laboratory here at Toronto General, part of the Peter Monk Cardiac Center. Uh, here he works with many collaborators uh, across different disciplines to explore clinical and educational applications of 3D medical imaging, modeling, and visualization. Uh, he's been a member of this meeting's organizing committee since 2016. And from 2018 to last year, he chaired and organized the meeting, uh, taking it to its current virtual format. Uh, I can think of no one more deserving of this award. I'd like to say this award comes with some perks, but true to TGH form, we can only offer you our endearing thanks and maybe a handshake and uh, a handmade thank you to, do, to be designed at a future date. Congratulations and please say a few words. Uh, thank you very much, Annette. That's those are very kind words. So I've been at just every day very grateful to get to work with a team like this. And through organizing this meeting, the people that I've met and the wider network that we've managed to uh, put together across the city, I know it's really sort of grown out of it. it used to be a very TGA-centric uh, conference, and now it's definitely grown out of that, and it's even gone beyond the beyond our city. And hopefully it'll become more global and international. Congratulations on an excellent meeting to you and all the curators and faculty. It's an honor to work with you every day. Thank you. Okay, and, and just so you know why we have virtual meetings, we have virtual meetings so that people can spend time away from us at the hospital. Uh, Azad is actually at home enjoying time at home and we can still have him contribute in such a meaningful way to this meeting. So thank you very much, Azad. All right, we'll move on to the closing remarks. Um, well, we've made it. It's the end of the meeting. Uh, and I have to say many thank yous. And I'll start with thanking you, the audience, uh, for taking the time to really be part of this educational experience. Uh, we sincerely hope you enjoyed the weekend and that we were able to provide you with useful information for your practice, or at least food for thought. I'd like to thank the speakers. Um, this was really a very international, multidisciplinary faculty who took time out of their own busy schedules um, to share their knowledge and experience and really give us a series of, I think, very excellent presentations. I'd like to thank the curators and moderators, uh, all of whom are colleagues uh, who were really leaned on uh, to make the program happen. They recruited their own speakers, they invited them, and you can see how just a little bit of a network gets formed and suddenly we're outside Toronto, we're outside of 
um, Ontario, we're outside of Canada, we're outside of North America, and we've actually um, reached the globe. And I think that's that's a real kudo for us this year at this meeting. Uh, I finally like to thank all our audiovisual support from Ardain, uh, Mark Atkinson, and Fatima Mahmoud, who worked seamlessly throughout the weekend to make this meeting happen. With respect to the evaluations, um, just a final reminder to please try and fill out the evaluations. Um, these provide us with an assessment of the meeting, uh, of this current meeting for this year, and importantly provide information for planning for future meetings. So we really do use the information you supply us. Um, we look at it and as part of our accreditation, we're actually required to uh, analyze the information you give us and see if we can act on it. Um, we'll email you links uh, to all the attendees tomorrow. Uh, if you haven't finished your evaluations, they'll be available for around a week. So we, we, we would really appreciate the feedback. For the certificate of attendance, um, these will be prepared in, in the coming weeks. And again, we'll email you the details about when, it, when you will be able to collect them virtually. Um, you can claim uh, up to 12 hours based on uh, the number of hours you attend the meeting, and I'm sure everybody will have attended for the full 12 hours. Uh, in terms of the videos and recordings, there's a lot of information at this information, really, really uh, outstanding information. I think it's something that people probably need some time to chew through. Um, the lecture videos will be edited and we will uh, send out um, a, a link uh, for when and where those uh, videos will be available, and that will probably happen in the coming weeks. Uh, so in closing, I'd just like to thank everybody for attending, for everybody's hard work for making this um, meeting a success, and I look forward to seeing you at future meetings. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.